Hi everyone and welcome to another virtual holiday show, this time with Claire from MSC Cruises. Shortly I'll hand you over to Claire, but first I'd like to tell you a little bit about Lincolnshire Co-op Travel. As I'm sure some of you already know, we at Lincolnshire Co-op Travel have been looking after our members for over 150 years. and We're a successful, successful business who invest our profits locally. As we're not owned by a tour operator, we are 100% independent and able off to offer you the right holiday, um, whether it be a European cruise or something a bit further afield. We also support local charities. This means that when you shop with us, we give back to the local community. Um, and finally, before I hand you over, um, you'll be able to see a list of your local branches on the screen. Um, these can also be found at www.lincolnshire.coop forward slash travel. At the end of this session, we will also be having a quick Q&A to answer some of your questions, as well as, being, being, as well as giving you the chance to win a £50 Lincolnshire Co-op travel voucher. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Claire. Thank you. That's great, Paul. Thank you so much for that. So I'm just going to pop on our presentation as well um, and let you see some of the fantastic products that we have on offer from MAC Cruises today. So hopefully everyone can see that on our screens today. So um, oh, brilliant. So Today we're going to talk a little bit about MSC Virtuosa and MSC Virtuosa is our brand new masterpiece at sea. Um, she is, has been welcomed into the UK market this summer and is an incredible, incredible ship um, for our UK and our British guests um, to, to really showcase our fantastic product. So when we go into the next slide, um, you're going to see what we actually have on offer for um, the key features. So we have our Galleria. So the Galleria is the longest LED sky at sea um, and really is a central hub of the ship. And I will show you some of that in a few, a few minutes. Really is the wow factor of the ship. There's two, just under two and a half thousand cabins available for you to um, choose from on board, including one of our new categories, which is our new duplex suite cabin and MAC Yacht Club. There are 21 different bars and lounges on board as well, so lots to get round on board, including our brand new MSC Starship Club, um, which has the first humanoid bartender at sea. We also have the Masters of the Seas British Pub, which is a real firm favourite for the British guests on board as well, um, which also serves things like burgers and chips as well, along with that, the great beer tail menu that we have instead of cocktails, we have beer tails in that, in that pub. And we also have our great TV studio and, and lounge, which hosts some karaoke as well. So lots of really nice things to, to really tap into there. We also have infinite entertainment options. So we have incredible theatre shows. There's four different shows for you to take advantage of when you are on board. And these are all included in the price. There's live music, entertainment, and we also have a really nice one-off exclusive art exhibition uh, that we have from from four different um, we have four different uh, pictures and photographs and and exhibitions for Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein, and they're on loan to us for two years, so it's really nice to go and see something a little bit different. And we have five kids clubs as well, which range right up from the age of three right up until the age of 17, which really tailor makes a holiday for any of you that are travelling as a family. There are also 10 dining venues on board, so five are main dining and buffet restaurants, which are all included in the price, and five speciality dining restaurants as well that you can upgrade and pay for um, and really have a, a different experience. So you can choose from two of our brand new restaurants as well, which is Indochine, which is Vietnamese and has a French twist. And Ola Tacos and Cantina, which is our Mexican, Latin American style restaurant, which has been introduced for the very first time on MAC Virtuosa. And then last but not least, we have the beautiful MAC Aurea Spa, which really does help you relax on holiday and, and take advantage of those fantastic Balinese massages that we do on board. There's also a hairdresser, a barber shop and a nail salon to really look after you and make you feel relaxed on that holiday on MSC Virtuosa. So I'm going to just show you the next one, which is going to be our video on MSC Virtuosa and really whet your appetite and what we can do to really enhance your experience on an MSC cruise. <laughs> Thank you. 
She really does have the wow factor and you can really see why we're calling her our masterpiece at sea. So she's the brand new ship that's been introduced into the fleet this year. So um, February we got the, the keys, if you like, to our, our new ship. Um, and she's been sailing around the, the British Isles this summer um, really successfully. So I just want to welcome you on board MSC Virtuosa. And this is, the, this is where you enter the ship, so in the atrium. And you can see it's really, really elegant, really stunning in style with the incredible Swarovski crystal staircases. So we have six staircases um, in the atrium that are all Swarovski crystals. Um, and everyone wants to have the photographs taken on there. I think it's very iconic of an MSC cruise ship um, to have your photographs taken on there. Get them on your Instagrams and on your Facebook and any social media that you have. And this leads us into the Galleria. So the Galleria um, leads on from the atrium, um, which really is the central hub of the ship. Now you can see the incredible digital sky that we have above the above the promenade. And the promenade is set above, um, it's, it's two different levels. So you've got deck seven and deck uh, eight here as well, um, which gives you all your nice speciality dining restaurants. Some of your bars and lounges are just off this section. And we also have our incredible shopping experience as well, where we have 11 state of the art boutiques. Um, so lovely place to go and spend some money. It's over 250 different brands that we sell on board as well. So we have got the largest shopping area at sea. So just make sure you bring your wallets or your purses with you. We do have some beautiful things on offer there as well. Now, I think this is lovely because we have got some incredible dining options available. The 
um, Butcher's Cup, which is our, one of our favourite restaurants for our British customers. We have our new Indochin and our new Ola um, restaurants as well, which we'll come on to in a little second. And as I said, you do have lots of different options here as well with bars and lounges just off this section. So this is where it really does come alive. And what you'll see is above with the digital sky, we do start to play some shows on there at night. Um, and it's really just lots of space, but lots of things to do there as well. And then, of course, I have to mention our new um, robotic barman, Rob. So Rob has joined us from across the galaxy and um, he's one of the new innovative pieces of technology that we have at MSC Cruises. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the Starship Club. The Starship Club is the MSC Cruises version of a spaceship of the future. Um, so you can come in and you can ask Rob for whatever kind of drink that you would like. He has 16 different specialty cocktails that he can make for you. Or you can go onto one of these little screens here and you can make your own cocktail, which absolutely could be lethal. Um, but you can do that as well, as well as having a great interactive table there as well. So it really is fun for all the family. Um, and you get a lovely little souvenir glass to take away with you as well as part of your holiday experience. So it's something that is really not to be missed. And um, we're finding that lots of our guests really want to, to come and meet Rob and Starship Club. And then, as I said, we do have some fantastic specialty dining options available. So this is Indochine. Indochine is one of our brand new restaurant concepts. We've never done this before on any of our other um, ships. So really interesting product that we have introduced. Um, and this is really a lovely experience to come in, have a little bit of fine dining, um, be served uh, you know, at your table. And there's lots to choose from in this restaurant. And this restaurant really caters very well to every type of guest. So whether um, you like to have some really lovely meats and carpaccio, or if you really want to try some seafood, um, we've got some fantastic lobster available in this restaurant. And also we have we also cater really, really well to vegetarian and vegan guests in this restaurant as well. So you have everything from vegetable samosas and um and, and there's just there's, there's so much choice in this particular restaurant. And this is probably the reason why our customers are rating this really, really highly at the moment as well. So this is one not to be missed. And what I will say is we do also offer prepaid dining packages. So because it is specialty dining restaurants, they do come at a small charge. However, if you are picking these up pre-travel with your, with your travel agent, they will be able to book that for you with a 35% saving if you book if you pre-book before you get on board the ship. So it really is worthwhile doing that as well. And then I just wanted to touch on a little bit around our family product. So you can see here we do have a fantastic aqua park on board for our guests. And this is not just for kids. I'm sure there will be big kids out there as well who would love to go down these interactive flumes that we have. And of course, we have the Himalayan bridge at the back of the ship as well, which is over the water park on deck 19, um, right at the back of the ship. And these are all included in the in the cost of your holiday. Now, the reason why I want to point this out is because for our kids, we do have five different kids clubs as well, right up to the age of 17. And it's really great for our families um, that do come on board. They're really looked after. Um, and one of my main recommendations would be to actually book a fun pack. Now, the fun pass will, will actually give you £140 worth of credit on board, um, and that can be used towards all the amusements. So we have full-size Formula One cars, a 5D cinema, a bowling alley. Um, there is so much to do and see, and that means that the kids don't run away with all your money <laughs> and charging that at the amusement centre. Um, with the fun pass, you can cap it and they get £140 worth of credit to use as they want, um, as I say, and even in the virtual games arcade. So there's lots to see and lots to do for families as well. Let's talk a little bit about stress free cruising and what that looks like for this summer, um, because of course we do have some health and safety protocols in place just to keep you guys as our customers safe and of course to keep our crew on board safe as well. So we will accept any British resident of all age as long as they are fully vaccinated. And what we mean by that is they've had their second uh, jab within 14 days of travelling to the port, whether that's Southampton or to Liverpool. 
If you have kids who are under the age of 17, or sorry, under the age of 18, which of course will not have been vaccinated yet, um, then that's absolutely fine. We will still accept the kids as well. Um, so zero to 17 years old. Um, and we have two different processes here in place. So for our vaccinated guests, when they get to the port, they need to bring a proof of vaccination. So showing the proof that um, that you have had your second vaccine out with the 14 days to travel. And that can be anything from the, the little vaccine, vaccine card that you get um, when you get your, your first and your second vaccine, or whether that's the NHS app that actually shows your medical history as well to show that that, that vaccination has been given. For non-vaccinated guests, um, so for the kids, we do require proof of a negative COVID test result within 72 hours prior to embarkation. So just make sure that that's all done and complete. Whether that is the at-home test, that's absolutely fine, but just make sure that they've been uploaded to the NHS website. Don't bring the actual test to the port. Um, or if it's just the fact that you want to go to your local pharmacist and get a lateral flow test, um, and they will text you or email you the results of that as well. That's quite an easy way to do it. But as I say, a lateral flow or a PCR test, either or is accepted. Um, and of course, that, that's, that's your choice, um, how you would like to do that. And then once every guest gets to the port, every guest will go undergo a medical screening at the embarkation port. That includes a contactless temperature check, as well as a medical questionnaire. And then you'll also go through a swab test with us as well. So that's regardless if you're vaccinated or non-vaccinated. The only ones exempt from that will be under twos. So we won't test the, the zero to two year olds, but everyone else will get a test. And you can find out more about that on our direct website, so mscruises.co.uk, or of course your travel agent will be able to support you more with that as well. And then last but not least, we do require a mandatory travel insurance that has got COVID-19 cover. So just make sure before you travel on any of our ships, especially on MSC Virtual Side this summer, you must have that in place and that will be um, checked at the port as well. So I'm just going to show you a little video now of some of our guests who have already travelled with us this summer, um, who have had a brilliant time on MSC Virtuosa and how safe that they felt on board. <laughs> They're not called Mediterranean Shipping Company for nothing. And we found the whole experience being equivalent to being away in the Mediterranean. And then when you sat down in the restaurants, in the bars, the mask comes off and you have a great normal experience. And we've had a brilliant time. You know, we had lots of fun singing, dancing. It's been great. Entertainment is great. You've got the main theatre, which has got wonderful shows each evening, so there's lots to choose from. So the shows have been great on board. I went to the, the Comedian the other day and I saw some singers last night as well. And there's a really varied and action-packed programme on board. And it's great to just sort of relax in the evening and enjoy what the ship has to offer. I have felt completely safe from the moment I arrived in the port in Southampton, everything from the sanitisation into the restaurants and around the ship, the social distancing as well, I couldn't feel more safe on board. We were perfectly distanced, the testing was uh, quick and painless, there was no queuing, no clustering, no crowding. The ship feels absolutely immaculate. There is uh, not a dusty surface, there are people continuously polishing, cleaning. I feel 100% safe on board. It feels so safe and, and wonderful to be here. You did. It's been clearly explained. Uh, it's also been sent out well before travel so you can actually read all the information what's expected at check-in, what's expected on board. So I do think the NSA UK team are doing a very good job of this.
show us a little bit about some of our guests that have been on board. Um, and I think the great thing is about this summer, if you are booking on MSE Virtuosa, everything is all inclusive. So you have that stress free um, idea of going on a cruise and everything is already included, which is great. So all inclusive drinks are included, plus your gratuities are included. So you don't need to worry about tipping on board. Um, we also have some amazing discounts available. So as a thank you to any of our health workers out there that work for the NHS or anyone that has been frontline when it comes to the COVID outbreak, um, we are offering a 50% discount to any of those customers booking on the Summer 21 MEC Virtual British Isles sailings. And that is just a thank you from us um, for what you guys have, have done. Um, for any anyone who is travelling that is a single, um, some, usually pays a single supplement as a solo cruiser, um, we also have reduced our solo supplement to between 10 and 50%. So usually you would be charged 100% for that fictional second person, if you like, that usually would be travelling with you. So you, you wouldn't be charged 100% this time, which is really great. It's a huge saving there. And then last but not least, we also have our MSC Voyagers Club customers. So for anyone returning to MSC um, to give MSC Virtuosa a try, who are already part of our loyalty scheme, you already get a 5% club discount as standard. But on these particular sailings, we're also giving you an extra 15% discount over and above that as well. So it gives you a 20% discount as a thank you for your loyalty as part of the MSC Voyagers Club. Now, if you are not part of the MSC Voyagers Club, but you have travelled with any other cruise line previously and you are a member of any other loyalty scheme, we also offer the option to status match you across. So what that means is um, if you take the tier level of what you are with your current cruise line, we will match the status and the benefits of the level and get you across to the MSC Voyagers Club membership as well at the same level that you're used to with your, your regular cruise line. And that just gives us a bit of a try, lets you try MSC for the very first time and means that you're not going in at that, that basic level of welcome and you already have some really nice benefits included. And some of our cruises start from 379 per person for three nights and 749 per person for seven nights. Now remember that includes your drinks and your gratuities as well. So some fantastic pricing in the market at the moment. And just to talk about those premium drinks and what is actually included. So it's a premium drinks package and that includes all drinks priced up to £10 on board. Now, for the very first time, we do have our onboard currency as GBP, so pounds sterling, which is fantastic. None of this having to work out how much it is to convert from euros to pounds. And that includes everything from draft and bottled beers, a selection of your house wines by the glass, a selection of cocktails, all your aperitifs, spirits that you know, so branded drinks, so things like your Morgan Spice, your Aperol Spritz, your Havana Club Rum, Bacardi, um, Smirnoff, they're all included in the package. All your mixed drinks, non-alcoholic cocktails, soft drinks, fruit juices, energy drinks, bottled water and teas and coffees. So there is so much to choose from and you will find that 80%, 80, 80, 85% of what is included um, falls under the premium drinks package, which is brilliant. If you do want to upgrade to Premium Plus, and that will include everything that we sell on board, it's a, an extra £13 per person per day to pre-book that with your travel agent as well. So um, you do have the option to upgrade that if you would like to drink some champagne or some of our top tier levels um, for some of your, your branded drinks like whiskey, as an example. Then I just want to touch on MSC for me. So MSC for me is really a way to connect everything. So before you travel, after your agent has booked your holiday for you and you would like to count down how many days it is before you come on board, you can download for free the MSC for me app. Now this means that pre-travel you'll be able to see what's going to happen during your cruise. So you'll be able to see some of the um, options for the theatre and for the shows, any excursions that might be available um, and anything that you might want to pre-book. Now, just always remember to come back to your agent because they will be able to add that one to your, to your confirmation for you before you travel. And you will always get a saving with your travel agent pre-travel if you are adding any of those extras on as well. So you will find they will be a little bit more expensive on board. 
And then when you're on board, the app changes and it really becomes this really um, an interactive experience that you can reuse all around the ship. Um, and you can use it from your smartphone, you can pre-book your restaurant timings, you can pre-book what time you want to go into the theatre, and you can use it for simple things like your daily planner to find out exactly what's happening at different areas of the ship. So it's a really, really nice little app to have and um, it connects with our Wi-Fi on board as well. So you don't need to download the, the Wi-Fi package to actually use this particular app. And then every guest when they check in at Southampton or Liverpool at the moment is also receiving the MSC for me wristbands. Now this is great because we do ask you to wear these throughout your throughout the ship um, when you're moving around and this acts as a track and trace system for us on board as well just to make sure that everyone is safe and if you do come into contact with anyone else um, that if the, the worst case scenario was to happen that we are able to notify you as soon as possible so we just make sure that you have your wristbands um, always on you as well. And then of course throughout the ship you do have all your different um, your different MSC for me sections. So the crew have it um, connected to their crew tablets when they're taking your drinks. You can obviously see your interactive touch screens. You've got your short excursions desk and then the in-cabin smart TV as well is also connected with it. And Rob will of course welcome you when you come to the Starship Club as well. So it is now time to book holidays again and we are so excited to have MAC Virtuosa sailing around the British Isles. So we do have some fantastically down prices at 749 per person on that all inclusive with the premium drinks packages as well. And you'll be able to get these on a weekly basis from Southampton on a Saturday or from Liverpool on a Tuesday right through to the 4th of September. So that'll be the last sailing um, for the seven nights. Then we will have the last of the mini cruises. So we will have a three night sailing on the 11th of September and that will be 379 per person for your lead in price, all inclusive with your gratuities and that will pop down to Portland and back to Southampton. And then um, we will also be having a flash sale starting on the 28th of July on our Dubai, Abu Dhabi cruises and Qatar as well. So look out for that coming really, really soon. Um, now this will be on departures from the 7th of November right through to the 19th of March um, from Dubai on a Saturday. Your cruise only prices starting there at 439 per person. And you can upgrade your experience to Fantastica and that will also then include a premium drinks package as well. So really, really exciting. Some fantastic pricing there to get your teeth into. Um, and there's some brilliant regional fly in there as well. So you can um, pop a flight on there over and above your 439 from Heathrow, Gatwick, Stansted, Manchester, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Birmingham or Dublin, so lots of opportunity there to fly from your, your regional airport. And then when you are booking, so if you do decide to book with MSC Cruises, um, we do also have a flexible booking policy at the moment called Stress Free. Now this is running through to the end of July, so the end of this month. Um, and basically any cruise booking that you make at the moment will automatically include these fl flexible booking conditions. And it means that you can reschedule your cruise right up until 15 days prior to departure if you decide you want to change or amend your booking. And that is on all sailings departing up until the 30th of September 2022. So if you do book any of our summer season or winter or summer next year, that is all included there as well. And if it's a fly cruise package, that you book with us, it's 21 days before travel that you can book that up to as well. Now this also gives anyone an opportunity who is st still outstanding with a future cruise credit to get them all redeemed as well and that still falls under the flexible booking conditions as well. And then last but not least, you know, I want to welcome you to the future at MSC Cruises. We also have two brilliant brand new ships that are going to enter service within the next two years. So next we have MSC Seashore, which ent enters service in the in, at the end of this month. She's christened on the 31st of July. So she'll start sailing from the 1st of August in the Met, and then she will reposition out to the Caribbean from uh, winter onwards. So she is not to be missed. MSC Seashore is all about the outdoor um, and really that connection that you have to the sea. 
And then we also will have MSC World Europa entering service in December 2022. She'll be launched in Dubai um, for our maiden season. And then she will also then reposition to the Med in summer 2023. And these both, both the ships are already on sale for you to enjoy. Um, and there's some really great booking incentives there as well because they are um, brand new ships as well. So just make sure you touch base with Lincolnshire Co-op and they will be able to give you more details on these two ships as well. So that is me. Thank you so much for listening in and um, we hope to see you on an MSC cruise really, really soon. So over to you, Paul. Fantastic. Thank you very much. That was fun. That was really interesting. I love your ships. I just think they they really do stand out from the crowd and uh, hopefully I'll get my family on one one day. Um, if it's right with you, Claire, we've had a few questions come in, if that's yeah, OK. Course. No problem at all. I will share my screen again and we will just quickly go through these. Where is it? There we go. Right. So if you're ready. Yep. So um, you, you've covered this slightly in your presentation there. Uh, will there be any new ships introduced over the next few years from Holly and Curtin? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think that's something we're really, really proud of at MSC, um, especially considering obviously we've had the pandemic and we've had to push a couple of our ship launches back a little bit. But the great thing is we've never had to cancel any of our orders. So we actually have, unbelievably, we have another 11 ships still to come wow. into the fleet. Um, so that's before 2030. Um, and that's just within the MSC Cruises fleet. Now, we will also start to see the introduction of our luxury fleet from 2023 onwards, which we have 10 brand new ships there as well on order, including four that will be wind power as well. So some really amazing new ships coming within the next few years. Um, and definitely there's lots to get your teeth into. I think MSC World Europa coming is really going to to be groundbreaking. She will be the largest ship in the world at the time of her launch. So between the passengers and crew, we will actually take 10,000 people on that ship. So it's like a, a city at sea. Wow. <laughs> so wow. there's lots, lots of stuff coming. Um, so yeah, do, absolutely. Just um, look out for all of that coming as well. Fantastic. Thank you for that. I, uh, I hope I get an invite to see one of those being launched at some point in the future. I'm sure you will, Paul. <laughs> And moving on, um, should I think about booking a cruise for summer 22 from Jeff in Sutton on Sea? Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think I think the thing is um, for us, if you're looking for, um, you know, you you want that you want to have the confidence that you're going to be able to get away. There is a lot of customers out there who, unfortunately, in the last eighteen months, have had their cruises or their holidays um, cancelled due to the pandemic. We've not been able to go anywhere, and we're kind of at the at the mercy, if you like, of the of the British government, you know, in terms of our, our traffic light system. So absolutely, summer 22, get booking. You've got that flexible cruise policy there, you know, so even if you do get to a later stage, you think, mm, I'm not too sure about it. We will, of course, move that booking for you free of charge onto something else within the product range. However, I will say that considering the MSC Virtuosa is going this summer, um, I would definitely be um, giving that a try if you have the opportunity and you have the money to get booking and, and the holidays available. Of course, we are halfway through now the, the summer season. Season. So um, you know that that is definitely going ahead with the British Isles cruises as well. So it really does give you the confidence that you will be booking something that does go ahead. Fantastic. Lovely. Um, and I think we've got one more. So last but not least, um, what are your current popular destinations from Robin Claythorpe's? Yeah, well, of course, I think the, the, the biggest popular, the popular destination at the moment, of, of course, is summer 21. People have been desperately waiting to, to get away on holiday. And, and unfortunately, we're not going anywhere. Um, you know, we're going to Belfast or to Liverpool, you know, so we're not going to a warm destination as such. But the ship has become the destination this summer. However, we really do cover every destination at MSC Cruises. So, 
MSC means Mediterranean Shipping Company. So we are the biggest player in the Meds. We have more ships and more, um, more destinations than any other cruise line within the Mediterranean in the summer months. And we usually tend to have 10 ships that sit there. So for summer 22, that's a brilliant opportunity to, to come and see the Meds, to, to experience um, destinations from Barcelona to Genoa, even down to Venice and lots of Italy. We have lots of Italian ports there as well. And the great thing is you guys can really tailor make your own holiday, you know, and, and you can you can get on in different ports of call. We, we interport with our ships. So it gives you lots of different opportunities to see some really great destinations. And then over and above that, we are one of the major players now in the Caribbean. So whether that's sailing from Miami um, and, and twinning that with places like Orlando. Um, we also sail from Port Canaveral. And we also do some beautiful destinations in the Southern Caribbean from uh, Barbados down to Guadalupe, Fort de France, Mar Martinique. So I would say these are the kind of the top three destinations for summer 22. And of course, we will be sailing uh, XUK again summer 22 on MAC Magnifica at the moment as well. So there's lots of destinations to choose from there. Fantastic. That's um, that. Yeah, fantastic and really interesting. Thank you very much, Claire. Um, and I think all that's left from me really is to say thank you for your time and thank you for um, that fantastic information. And as I mentioned at the start of the, the show, we are giving you a chance to win a £50 Lincolnshire Co-op travel voucher. All you need to do is comment below um, why you would love to go on an MSC cruise. So thank you, Claire. Thank you for your time. It was good to see you again. Um, take care. Thanks very much, Paul, and thanks so much to everyone attending. Take care. Have a good day.